up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have PlayStation 2 games. We're going to convert them into packages for the PlayStation 4 on firmware 5.05 and 5.07. Of course, we go to Hack Informer, how to convert PS2 games to work on the PlayStation 4. Now, there's this pretty neat tool PS2 Classics, you will download that file. I already have it, but for you guys to see that the link works, you get that file. Now you can read the features, multiple ISO support, custom PS2 configuration, and remove some code. Developer, the dark programmer XXX has updated this tool to run the PS2 games and turn them into packages, which is pretty cool. You can put in your own icon and your own background and we will go through it in the video. Now, of course, you're going to need a PlayStation 4 on former 4.05, 4.55 or 5.05 to take advantage of this. So you will need to have your ISO. You can find them anywhere. I already had mine because I backed mine up and you can read more on the article. I would recommend it which is pretty cool also you can check the compatibility list so we go to and install the setup exe now this can take like up to five minutes so once you install it would take its time okay so once we do the setup.exe we do the PS4 PS2 classic GUI application that one will be quick and then you will have this now we will load the PS2 ISO now I'm just going to find my PS2 ISO and I have the third strike ISO you can check my Twitter for an example of that game so now unfortunately you cannot drag to it so you will need to navigate to your folder and find your ISO game for the PS2. You guys can see I go to my PS3 folder and then there's strike ISO. Okay so now you can put a title ID so I just put like a random ID which is STRG and then at the end I just added a 3 just to be fancy and then the title you can name it however you want which in this case I'm going to put it at third strike three fighter third strike so now we're going to right click and then change the icon of course I went to Google and found some pictures so I got like a little icon for my PS2 classic and then the background as well I should have probably chosen better images so this is something that you can pimp out take your time it should be fun and then we select create ps2 classic and then it's gonna ask us where do we want to dump the new game so I'm just going to create a folder on my desktop and I'm gonna call it ps2 packages okay so now that we have our file location we just click OK and actually it doesn't really take that long probably depends on the, of the size of the game okay so then we get a little pop-up that says convert completed you guys can see now it's transformed into a package file which is pretty cool it's a pretty nice tool so go to Hack Informer and get this tool. Now we connect our PlayStation 4. And we grab our USB thumb drive because we're going to be installing this package to our newly exploited PS4. Okay, so I connected my thumb drive or memory card. Now I'm going to delete those files because I don't need them anymore. Remember to back up all your packages just in case. So I'm going to copy it to my USB thumb drive. 
Okay, so that's all we need to do here. It's pretty cool. So now that we have connected our PlayStation 4, then we're going to insert the memory card on the right hand side. Now, since it was off, we would need to run the local host exploit. If you guys don't know how to do it, check my previous video or click on the link up above. So we run our local host and now we have the IP address from our PC. Okay, so we're going to go to settings, we go to user guide help info and we select 5.05 Mira and we let it do its magic. You're all set. Simple as that guys. Okay, so now we're going to go to settings, debug settings, game, and then once we select game, we're going to do package installer, and there's our package guys. And then we just install it. It shouldn't take that long. And now we get the ready to use prompt, and we go, and look at that guys. We have our Street Fighter Third Strike game, PS2 Classic, which is amazing so remember to get a good background image so that you can have it all HD ish it launches the sound works great now you might see some lag my computer was lagging a little bit but it actually runs fine so or you guys can test it out so you can go to my Twitter and get the example game or you can even try yours which is fine so we just let it load now to press start you press the little touch screen on the remote I was trying to figure it out for a moment I was trying to do it until I pressed the touch screen and then that was the start so you guys will see a little taste of how it runs now we have some lines that go through the characters which I mean is not too bad probably work in progress for the PS2 emulators so but it's playable I was playing it for a little bit and it's pretty cool I mean we can have it in the PlayStation 3 PlayStation 4 now so guys if this helped remember to hit like subscribe comment share with your friends as always Gamer Rebirth out